Hello, welcome to Wizardry. Recently, I'd done a quick gas lens build, and it got me to thinking of a diorama terrain piece to build. This car came pre-wrecked, so I thought it would be a perfect candidate. The first step was to disassemble and modify it to fit the concept that I had in mind. With the car stripped down to its starting point, I started in on the base, carving it from a chunk of foam. My idea was to have the car crashed and engulfed in flames, and this light was my ticket. I carved an area out for it to seat in and built a structure to hold it in place. After texturing my foam board, I glued my small outcropping to it and set about constructing the remainder of the base. I textured the outcropping before adding additional features, texturing each feature as I went. When adding this large stone to the base, I wanted a solid bond, so I pinned it in with toothpicks. I added stones around the base of this tower to help solidify its appearance into the scene, although I really don't know what this tower is supposed to be exactly. I then broke out my Nightmare Landscapes texture paints, coating this pipe jutting out from the ground to add some visual interest to it, masked off the spots I didn't want painted with some blue tack, snipped off my toothpick anchors, filled the gap behind the light, and constructed a demolished guardrail. It was now time to add some barrels that Joe at Nightmare Landscapes 3D printed for me off of Thingverse. And a random log chain. No racetrack is complete without the multicolored flags strung about everywhere, so I figured I'd better make some. This portion was a bit fiddly, but enjoyable. I first cut small strips of masking tape, then placed individual rectangles that I cut out onto a piece of wire. I folded them over onto themselves and trimmed them into the pennant shapes to make my string of flags. With all my construction and prep done, it was time to prime the base with glue, paint, Mod Podge mix, and some small texture of rocks and some basing sand from Nightmare Landscapes. Primed, dried, and ready for paints, I overbrushed with a dark brown before adding texture paints from Nightmare Landscapes. The paint not only added yet more texture, but also some color variation to the base. Waiting for the base to dry, I began the conversion of the car, beginning with a huge reinforced bumper on the front and a plated rear bumper, as well as an armored hood scoop. Oh yeah, and spikes. Can't forget the spikes. I next turned my attention to the discarded barrels on the side of the dirt ramp. I wanted them to look well-worn, rusted, and chipping paint. When painting the pennants, I wanted the appearance of dirty as well as sun-faded colors. The tower I started with Nightmare Landscapes Copper, roughly brushed on for texture, followed by silver, and then a light black wash for aging and weathering. For a pop of color and added interest, I applied Nightmare Landscapes Texture Paint before adding some grass clumps left over from my grass video, and some more basing materials from Nightmare Landscapes. Finally, it was time to return my focus to the car. Nightmare Blue is a very transparent color, and I used it to my advantage by painting unevenly to make the vehicle's paint job worn and patchy in appearance.
I wasn't going for a complete rust bucket look on this car, but it's obvious that it had been beaten and abused, so it needed rust and spots of bare metal where it had sustained damage before adding mud and dirt. The focus of this build is the fact that this car has been freshly taken out of commission and on fire. After soaking cotton balls in Nightmare Yellow and drying them out, I pulled them apart to make my flames. Nightmare Red's vibrant color worked so well in making these flames stand out. I glued the flames to the underside of the car before building the base of the explosion that encases the light source, adding red flames and smoke details. And here's the final product, freshly crashed and engulfed in flames. Diorama or terrain piece, I guess it works either way. I had a lot of fun with this build, and I hope you all enjoyed as well. Let me know in your comments. They're all welcomed and appreciated. Anything you'd like to see me do, drop me a message. Like, share, and subscribe. It all means a lot and helps me out tons. I'd like to thank Nightmare Landscapes, and I'd like to thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you in the next one. For now, I'm Wes, and this is Wizardry.